Very time to listen up, you may learn something today. Another listen up Wednesday. Uh, today's topic, talk about money, what's your purpose, and uh, your end goal. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is, is money, uh, one of my <laughs> favorite topics. But, you know, I always talk about, you know, uh, my big goal is $20,000 a month, right? Um, but I'm not chasing after the money, I'm chasing after time. Um, the, the reason why I'm not chasing after the money is money is a vehicle to allow me to do what I would like, right? But ultimately, money doesn't necessarily, I don't think it's going to be the end goal that makes me happy, right? If I just have a whole bunch of money and nothing to show for it, right? It, it really doesn't mean anything to me. So money is great to me, right? But, you know, what can money do for me? And again, I'm not chasing after the money, I'm chasing after the time. And I think some people too, it's, well, if I get a whole bunch of money, I'm gonna be happy. That's not necessarily the case. Listen up, you may learn something today, right? So it's been proven to show that there's a lot of people who hit the lottery and they regret hitting the lottery because it, it changed their life. Well, the reason why more than likely is because they weren't used to having all of that money quickly. They don't know how to budget. They don't know how to uh, save. They don't know how to invest. They don't know how to utilize that money. Uh, and not only that, I'm not gonna lie, right? If you have a lot of money, uh, you know, it, some people unfortunately are hanging around you for different reasons. Um, you know, whether that be, you know, it, friends or, you know, friends or friends and, uh, you know, people just use you for, uh, you know, your money. So it, it's, it's definitely important to make money, right? But understand like, okay, if I get a million dollars, right? Like, what am I gonna do with it? Where is it gonna go? Am I going to buy this? I'm going to buy that. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to buy that. That's not, I, I guarantee I can give 10 people a million dollars, right? And 80% of those people will be broke in 10 years just because they mismanaged the money. You know, they started living a lifestyle that think that makes that they, where they think they're a millionaire, right? But in all reality, you have a million dollars. And not only that, you don't have anything backing that up to, to you know, and you're buying depreciating assets instead of, um, you know, appreciating assets, you're buying liabilities instead of assets. So understand that, you know, that money isn't, it, it, it's great to have money, right? It's a great vehicle to have money, but understand you need to educate yourself on how to utilize money and how to utilize money the right way and how to make money while you sleep and, and how to make money work for you. Essentially, Robert Kiyosaki is a good book on that. Um, what's your purpose? So what's your purpose in life? Um, yeah, essentially, what are you here for? You know, I don't want to go to you know, uh, you know, psychological or anything like that. But, you know, I ask myself, what is my purpose? And, you know, I, I want to leave a lasting mark, right? I, I want to make a difference in people's lives. I want to make an impactful difference in people's lives. And, and that's kind of what motivates me is to be able to be, a, you know, to go into a school or go into somewhere and be able to talk to kids and have them actually listen to what I have to say. Listen up for me and learn something today, right? So, I think that's why, you know, I strive to, to do the things that I do because, again, nobody's going to listen to me if, if I don't have anything, any accolades, you know, backing me up, right? Um, you know, people want to look up to influential people. So, you know, my purpose is, you know, to essentially influence other people. I want to be able to, you know, impact somebody's life in a positive way. Um, and, and I think I've kind of been on this path for a while, getting a little bit more hyper-focused hyper with it. but. You know, that, that's essentially my purpose. You have to ask yourself, what is your purpose, right? Are you just kind of going through the motions, right? Are you just, okay, I'm going to work, coming home, going to work, coming home, you know, and, and living for the weekends? Yeah, if you're okay with that, that's fine. But if you're not, do something and change that, right? Listen up, we learned something today. So, you know, there's no right or wrong way to, I think, you know, do this so-called game of life, right? I, I think there's a lot of different ways you can do it, but most importantly, how you're doing it, you just want to make sure that you are happy uh, and, and you're fulfilling, you know, what you need, you know, inside um, and ask yourself, what is my purpose? You know, what do I enjoy doing? Uh, what brings me happiness? Um, and, and I think, you know, once you kind of answer that question and, and give an answer that, you know, it fulfills you, not fulfills your partner, not fulfills me, not fulfills, you know, other people, maybe not even your parents, right? What fulfills you, what makes you happy? You know, uh, I, I, I think you'll, you know, be able to enjoy a better life. Um, and the last thing I want to talk about is, is what is your end goal? So this is a very, very important one to me, right? Um, we all have maybe jobs, you know, that we don't, I don't want to say don't like, but, you know, we maybe have jobs that can get difficult at times, right? Um, you have to have an end goal. But what I mean by that is you have to have something you're working towards, right? So if you just say, hey, you know, I'm going to do this job, 
I don't necessarily have an end goal, it would be very, very difficult, right? But if, if you have an end goal in mind, meaning I'm gonna do this until I save up X amount, or I'm gonna do this until I hit this number, or I'm going to do this until I hit blah, 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 it will make everything a lot easier because you have an end in sight, right? Like, hey, I'm gonna do this until infinity. I'm gonna do this until, you know, I, I'm gonna work until I'm dead. That's, that's a scary thought. <laughs> that's a scary thought going to a job that, you know, you may not enjoy or like in working there, it, it, you know, it, in, until you, you know, pass on. Um, have an end goal. I, I don't know, I don't care if it's a monetary goal. I don't care if it's, I'm gonna work until my kids hit this age. I don't care if it's, you know, um, you know, a, a, a passive income goal. I don't care if it's, hey, once my side business starts making seven thousand dollars a month, I'm gonna, you know, but have some sort of end goal because it's difficult, you know, to. It, it, it's difficult when you're going somewhere and you don't know when you have to stop going to that place. If you really don't enjoy what you're doing and you just know I have to work here until. I don't have an end goal. It's difficult to wake up every single day. But if you have a goal, like, hey, listen, I'm only here for three more years. I'm doing the math. If I, you know, save up X amount from every single paycheck in seven years, I'm able to, you know, or I'm able to do this and pivot, or I can start this while I have this job. But make sure you have an end goal. You don't want to just continue just to go, 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 go. You know, keep your foot on the gas the whole entire time because you'll blow out that engine. Listen up, you may learn something today. So uh, make sure you have an end goal. Figure out what your purpose is and understand, you know, it's cool to have a lot of money, but, you know, have a game plan and, and educate yourself about money. So, Gary and Thomas, listen up, may learn something today. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.